Kelly is graduating on with his daughter, but we're hoping he sticks around to coach his younger daughter. And they got to see so go. Be nice to him. Be nice to him. Learn to stick around, okay? But we're going to bring Coach Josh up here and introduce his team. All the major seniors go to the stage over here. How are we doing, seniors and majors? Can I hear you over there, seniors and majors? Let's hear a little something. A little summer? There we go. I only got one. I only got one. Only one of you is happy to be here? There we go. So yeah, I've been doing this a long time, and thank you for pointing out that I wasn't Dre at the start of it. <laughs> I don't know when this happened. It's like you look at the president and four years later, he's dread. It's no good. Um, I got to give a lot of shout outs. I didn't certainly not do this by myself. Um, Bob McNamee, who is not here, I'm sure a lot of you know him. Uh, probably the best coach I've ever met in my life. Um, he's phenomenal. Uh, he's taught me a lot. I know he's taught all of you a lot. Uh, many of you have been here with me since the beginning, um, and I can't say enough good things about Bob. Um, those of you who have been in the league and have older children know him. He is incredible. Um, I, I also had a lot of support um, when I didn't have coaches out there. Coach Joy stepped up and helped me a lot this year. I had Chris out at practices throughout the year. She was helping. I know Colleen's helped me. Bob coached bases for me. I mean, we had a lot of help throughout the years. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting people, and I don't mean it, but I know we've had a lot, a lot of good family involvement, um, and it's been incredible. Um, so let's see, who, who's been with me since, where's my intro? Okay, you guys are going last. We got you guys went by grade. This is this is this is incredible. Um, so yeah, we had. Well, let's see. I, I uh, I'll give I'll give I'll give the special recognition that to come up. How's that sound? Um, so we'll start off. <laughs> Sophia. Sophia is very young, you would never know, but very, very tall. Sophia is going to be an incredible softball player. All heart and gives it her all every time she's out there. Great to have you on the team. Ellie. Ellie? Can we see Ellie? Ellie plays like she's 10 feet tall. You would never know. She was this small. She gives heart every time she's out there. It's been a pleasure coaching you. By the way, everybody, Ellie's stealing. Ellie's stealing, okay? Ellie's stealing. In case the other team didn't know, Ellie is, is stealing. All right, our, our next two coming up here have honorable mentions. Yeah, we're gonna come up. We actually, so we... We had an unfortunate accident this year. And, um, you know, our, our pitcher who pitched most of our games hurt herself. And these two girls stepped up and did an incredible job. Um, I couldn't be more proud of you. You girls worked hard. It's not easy standing on that mound doing what you do with everybody watching and watching everything you do. You girls did a great job, and I'm so proud of you, and I'm so glad that you did what you did. Addison Cassidy. And Hannah. The next one. 
Alicia? Something? Alicia? Did I get it right this time? Alicia. Alicia came alive this season. It was fun to watch. Um, you started off being a little timid with the batting, and then came around and were just slaying balls. You were killing them. It was incredible. I'm very proud of you. Great job. Oh, another honorable mention. Addison. Addison worked so hard. I've been coaching, what, two years? Two years now? Addison worked very, very hard. Came out our last game, had our pitching debut. Did, it, did an incredible job. Very, very proud of you. Great job. Meadow is another one. We, we've been coaching you for a couple years now, too. You started, you started just two years ago, right? Yeah. Meadow's made great progress. Um, we've moved you all around the field, and you've done great at every position. Um, you keep working hard, you're going to be a great softball player. I hope to see you in high school. These, these are all but one. I, around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my newest, newest eighth grader. Cause you, I haven't been coaching for very long. But you, you came in this year. Lots of heart. I love the great attitude. We started off. We didn't have the right glove. We we're on the wrong hand. But then we fixed that. I, you have lots of just natural power. I love watching you swing the bat. It's part of coaching for the first time. Lily, yeah, we're, we're kicking you off completely. It is unacceptable. You're off the team. You're going to a new school. I don't even get to see you play in high school. You're breaking my heart. How dare you go get a better education than we provide in summer? It's unacceptable. Colleen, we're going to have work. <laughs> it's been a pleasure coaching you. The last game that we played is, I think, the fruition of the training that you've had. It was incredible. I've never seen so much hustle, so much play. You had a great time. You also had your pitching debut, which was fantastic. Um, it's been a pleasure coaching you all these years. I wish you all the best. You promised me that you're playing at Wilbraham Munson. Do not lie to me. I will track you down. We will find you. Riley's also been here since the beginning. Riley is a phenomenal player. I think you're going to make a great high school player. You're always hustling. You're always hustling. You're always trying to improve. Um, I can't say enough good things about you, Riley. It's been a pleasure coaching you. Let's go, Riley! Eliana's a little bit new too. We've had you for a couple of years. A couple of years, right? Yeah. How do we start it off? How do we start off? Little, you were very timid. A little timid. A little new. But we grew. We practiced. We got way, 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 way better. And I mean, shoot, we had you beating off in the end of, in the season a lot. You swing it back good. You back the last game. You ripped the shot right up the middle. It was fantastic. I loved it. You put in a lot of hard work. I'm proud of you. Natalie, you can, I got a lot of people. Well, uh, I said I got what six, five that have been here since the beginning. That have played all the lots of seasons. I love it. Always, always a good attitude, always smiling, having fun. I hope, it was, it was, good. It was a good time, right? We did all right? Yeah, you had a lot of fun? <laughs> you were always smiling at that coach, man. It was fantastic. What's that? You got paid to say that? This is why I have gray hair. Mostly because of these, these three. 
and I got some great hair donated from you guys too, but probably these three the most. Good job. Yeah, you've been here a long time. Um, it's been a, an awesome road. Um, it's been a pleasure coaching you. We've had lots of, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't account for everybody because I don't know what you guys do in your off time. But I know you and Haley, I mean, you've gone to many, many lessons with Haley. You've taught for Haley come over the house, you've worked. Um, to see you grow has been awesome. You swing an amazing bat. Your arm is getting so strong. I mean, even the teams that we're playing, everybody's going, wow, your pitcher's got a great arm. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, she does. I think dad has something to do with that. I know you guys work sometimes. Um, I, I, it's been awesome coach. You're, you're a great player, you work very hard. And it's been a great, great time. I'll try to get through this one. No, I want the tears. No, I've got to fight them. Um, this is an interesting one. So, this is the end of the road for me. I'm going to make it. Um, it's been, there's been some, I hope it's been mostly fun. I know it's, it's tough sometimes. I don't know how many coaches out there coach their own kids. I mean, I think everybody can raise, most people can raise their hand, right? And it's kind of, it's kind of tough. And we've had conversations where, you know, tag your heart on. And I think it's interesting to take that and reflect on that as a, as a coach and as a dad. And I never thought, I was, I was hard on it. And I know a lot of you coach your own kids and if your dad is coaching you or your mom is coaching you, I don't think they're hard on you. I think, you know, you spend a lot of time probably with them in the backyard doing a lot of things that the other kids maybe are just learning. And so, as a coach, our job is to make you, make you better. And so, the things that you've already accomplished we don't really comment on that. We comment on on the next things and the little things. And so I give that to you as information saying that, well, as a dad or as a coach or as a mom, as a coach, we're not ever being hard on our kids. We're always just giving them the things that they need to be better. Um, and that's what I've always tried to do. I hope you appreciate that. This has all been for you. It always has been. I love you.